What's up, G.I. Joe fans? Welcome back to the MIB Master Museum. I'll be your curator today. And guys, we got a special one for you. Another cool offering. Another cool request from Mr. Rene. We bring you the 2003 G.I. Joe Navy SEAL Takedown Team. Super cool figure. This was a figure that was under the radar. Didn't get a lot of uh, a lot of um, really not actually now that I think about it, he didn't get much of any publicity, and I and I'm shocked because this is a really cool figure really cool figure and I, I don't understand why this guy didn't get a lot of uh, publicity but I was tracking him I knew about him let's get in close I like the close-up shots I knew about this guy uh, the cool part about it is I love this his gun Really cool. Got the gung ho grip hands. I believe this figure was uh, on the um, built on the uh, super articulate GI Joe body, a uh, new body that that had just came out. But we can uh, we can check that uh, cool outfit. This is all of a uh, really. This is a one piece outfit. Let's get in there got the boots on now you could get this figure in two ways he came in a box a, uh, a small box version as well one of the tall skinny box versions or you could get him like this we're still looking for the skinny tall box version because we we, we like this figure so much we really wanted to add another one to our museum uh, that's how cool we we think this guy is that's canteen there. Back packs there. A little uh, packs for his belt. Radio. Got the connector here to his headset. Let's turn him around. Get you a better. Oh, here's the um, equipment list. Here's the equipment list. Jumpsuit, belt, sunglasses, boots. Yeah. He came with a ton of equipment, accessories. Uh, this figure cost us $26 back in 2001. Here's the backstory on the Navy SEAL takedown team. I think we got these guys. We have both of these guys right here. We just did a, a video and a review on the urban uh, camo and the Vietnam uh, door gunner we'll be doing one probably within the next couple days on him once again this is just a, a beautiful figure just beautiful beautiful there's our date there our year 2001 as you can see this is a uh, Navy SEAL takedown team in all of his glory there. Which would have made a phenomenal poster. But that's just me, guys. You know how I feel about the posters. And like I said, we've had this guy since 2001. His box has some, uh, some scuffing on it, as you can see. But for the most part... It's in fairly good, in, I'd say this is more like C8, C9 condition, the box. And that's, that's pretty much where, much where we want to be at. Uh, and it's just shelfware. Uh, this is nothing that we did to the box. This is simple, this simple shelfware when you have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of boxes and carded figures. 
and uh, just sitting on shelves for years and years and years. Uh, you know, this is over a decade, uh, almost over a decade and a half, almost practically. So it's um, that's to be expected, you know. But that's that's fine. That that that's fine. As you can see, the figures. I like the way they encased this. They encased the figure in all of this plastic. It's very extremely hard for anything to happen to the figure. And they. And another thing, you don't require any ties or anything to kind of keep him in place. You have the dreaded rubber bands, which are deteriorating. But for the most part, this figure is gorgeous. Simply gorgeous. This is Canteen. It's walkie-talkie. Or was that his was radio? Pouches for, for his belt. Really cool knife. Ballistics glasses. Cool. Um, we like the, uh, I like this, this, and they call this the younger uh, recruit head sculpt um, that came out in the uh, late 90s. I want to say around 97, 98. It'd be, it would have been cool if they had a, uh, if they had a uh, helmet for this guy as well. He would have looked nice with a helmet. But that, that's me nitpicking and uh, wanting to add on. And this is why a lot of guys customize their figures, you know. Love the, 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 the radio. And then you have the, the lifelike uh, cord. I like that. That's a really cool cord. Uh, Hasbro did a phenomenal job on uh, producing these figures. The articulation. Um, they got very... They got way more sophisticated with their weaponry and with their um, accessories because a lot of the other companies, action figure companies, was really pushing and challenging Hasbro to do that because they were doing, the, the other companies were doing such a phenomenal job at really making a lot of the equipment so lifelike, you know, and realistic. So that kind of that that was kind of pushing Hasbro to keep up and keep pace because Hasbro had it had really has enjoyed such a long tenure as being the top producer of action figures with GI Joe as it, as its flagship figure and no nobody was going to challenge GI Joe as a matter of fact nobody still can challenge GI Joe in my book you know now you have a lot of you have a ton of uh you know, hot toys and sideshow collectibles. You have a lot of people that, that, that go above and beyond the Call of Duty with their uh, articulation, with their figures and things of that nature. But at the end of the day, G.I. Joe is, is simply G.I. Joe. And I would love to see G.I. Joe make a comeback because we, we, we and I definitely miss awesome figures like this. And we would like to thank Renee uh for a for being a super cool subscriber and b for being a super cool collector and historian and asking to see these these figures that are 16 17 18 19 some he's asked for has been 20 years old uh he hasn't forgotten these figures and you know that that that's a testament to itself that gi joe truly hasn't died and has been out of production for the last decade for the most part guys please like and subscribe it helps the channel and as you see uh, we take requests we have no problems taking requests uh, if we have it here in our in our museum we are more than welcome to do a review on it and a video on it uh, I know uh, some places uh, they they just don't do it. I don't know because they don't have the the figures 
in their inventory or they just prefer not to. They just prefer to talk about what they like to talk about. We like to do all of it. We like to talk about what we like to talk about. We like to show what we like to show. We like to share what we have. We like to take requests. Uh, morning, noon, and night, you know, I, I, I get requests around the clock. I'll check, you know, I'll check our information. And then uh, I'll send out uh, emails. I'll send uh, comments back. We get back. We connect and have that connection and communication with our with our viewers and with especially with our subscribers, because we love our subscribers to death. And it's because of our subscribers that this channel exists. So we're just having a ball doing it. So definitely you want to see something, you have a question on something. Let us know by all means. You're looking at right now the 2001 uh, Navy SEAL takedown uh, team, G.I. Joe. And uh, the day is young. We're going to get we're going to get started here. I've got a pot of coffee on. <laughs> I'll be doing some work here in the museum today and we're excited. We are excited to get things rocking and rolling for you guys. And with that being said. Please like and subscribe. It helps the channel. And outside of that, guys, you know the drill. You know the drill. God bless. Get your favorite beverage. Hop on the couch. Sit back. And watch the MIB Master Museum channel. Guys. Keep collecting.